So what's up guys and welcome to Veda Day 4. and heading to go pick my mama up today my dad had to do something else with his car and he was not going to be finished in time enough to go pick her up and me and him kind of share their responsibility because if most of you don't know which i do have a lot of new subscribers um my mama does not know how to drive she's never learned how to drive and she doesn't want to know how to drive so me and my daddy love her enough that we have become her personal chauffeurs and she just pays us back in love and she got she gets us some pretty good gifts like doing holidays and stuff so it makes up for all the times that we got to go and pick her up from work and stuff um but my family is like super close like i'm really close with my parents and stuff so it just makes me excited to see her because if i don't see her during the week then i only see her on sundays um and it's just kind of what we do too but i do talk to my mama every single day on the way to work at work on the way home from work like i literally we talk all day every day but anyway yeah i'm headed to go and pick her up from work um and then after that we are going to go home because I, I don't think I need to make a stop. I thought I was going to have to go back to Kroger. And that's another thing y'all need to know. Kroger is my second part-time job that I pay. They don't pay me. I pay them <laughs> because I'm always needing something. And especially being on a health regimen, like, I always have a different taste for something or maybe I saw a recipe or a video of something I want to try so let's I'm in Kroger every day you know I try not to be but sometimes I am so I'm not really sure if I'm going to stop by Kroger or not but you know that may be the play but anyway um I'm definitely going to show you guys the makeup brushes from BH Cosmetics that I bought over two weeks ago <laughs> they finally came yesterday yesterday just y'all that movie just really did it for me and baby like it really hit home for me and i don't want to tell you too much and want to tell you the movie but if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog me and baby had a movie date night and we went to go see acrimony um which is the tyler perry movie that taraji plays in and y'all first things first she played that part honey like taraji you did that um but it just hit home for me because it's like um most of the red flags that you see in relationships you need to take heed to them like realize that that stuff doesn't go away and at our age if you are in the 30 club you know and stuff like that you got to understand people are kind of setting their ways honey so what you see is what you get like yes we can you know say oh well i see potential in this person or i know that they could be a good person but do you know that you know that they can be a good person you have to take a person at face value like they these people these days don't even lie to you like they tell you who they are from jump so i you know in past relationships never took heed to the red flags i always thought that i could fix people you know i'm just like oh well, if i love this person more they'll do better and it seems like the more i loved somebody the more fucked up they became and i hate to say that so raw but it's the truth um and like i've had like really bad relationships in the past and not bad as far as like physical or emotional abuse or anything but bad in the sense that they thought i was their mama and i was supposed to take care of them like no bitch you are older than me so i need you to do what the fuck you need to do you know we're in this together and that's one thing that i have to brag about my relationship with courtney on is she is independent as well as i so she can take care of herself without me i can take care of myself without her but us just doing it together makes it that much better so we realize that there's a balance like when you're in a relationship whether you're married or not if you're living with somebody like there is a balance you can't take your whole check and fucking you know go to the mall and ball out and think the other person is supposed to just pay the bills like that's not fair you know what i'm saying um and a lot of people think that way like a lot of people you know go through so much like i had an ex you know who went through so much in her past that she just felt like oh, okay well this was her time to live her life and i'm like okay you living your life though is making my life miserable because you want to take your money and you know buy all that i didn't do this and show out for your friends and then i have to take my money and actually pay the bills like 
And then what am I supposed to do? Once all my money goes to the bills, are you going to then pick up the slack and get my hair done and get my nails done and all this stuff? No, you only worry about yourself and it's just not fair. So I love Tyler Perry movies and I also love Netflix original movies, y'all, because they just hit home and they do not like sugarcoat anything. Like if y'all seen Seven Seconds on Netflix, man, it's crazy the way the movie ended or the um series ended, but it's real life. This is real life what the fuck we doing in America right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like everything is not going to always be peaches and cream. So I guess you do have to see it for what it is. Realize it. Because I like the first step to anything. Like if you have any addiction. Whether it be food, drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, anything. The first way to heal yourself from that is to acknowledge that it really is happening. And I had to do that. Like, I had to acknowledge that the people that I was choosing to enter into a relationship with wasn't quite the best. Not saying they weren't good people, because anybody that I've associated with myself with, I would hope that they were really good people, but they just didn't have what it took to be adults. So I'm going to just say it that way. Um, But yes, that movie, y'all, just really lit a little fire in me. And not so much as like bringing up my past and stuff, but it really made me appreciate my relationship now and what I have. And it's so crazy because, like I say all the time, I've been married before and both times of me getting married, I was like so stressed out. Like it was like, oh shit, how are we gonna do this? How I'm gonna do this by myself? I gotta do all this stuff by myself, pay for all this stuff, you know, and just organize all this stuff. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Let me try to fix it. Yeah, so I've always had to do everything by myself. And then meeting Courtney like at the gate. Is it still too dark now? All right, there we go. And so anyway, meeting Courtney, like at the gate, she was responsible. Like she didn't ask me like, well, what you doing after work? I need to go here, 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 here. Like she's always been her own person. You know what I'm saying? And I love that about her. Like that's one of the most, that's the most thing that attracted me to her is that she's her own person and she can be an adult. I don't have to baby her. I don't have to tell her what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like I'm mothering her all the time like and that's the reason I love her so much and then on top of that it's like she makes me feel wanted and not because of what I have or who I am but she makes me feel wanted because I'm me you know what I'm saying and I just loved it about her whether I have on um, in bundles and a face full of makeup be to the guys or whether you know I got my natural hair and I done slept on it so it's nappy as hell and I look a mess in the house she still loves me kisses me hugs me tell me she loves me tell me I'm the sex this woman walking around even when i know sometimes i'm like babe you pushing it now because i know i look a mess <laughs> but anyway i do not know this was like an intro clip and i just really got to talking i'm telling you y'all i just love when a conversation is being had meaning like when people bring stuff to light and people have their opinions about it because remember everybody isn't entitled to have an opinion it may not be the right opinion or it may be an opinion you don't agree with but everybody has one that's why i always tell people that do youtube or you know post on social media like sis you can't get mad when people have an opinion about your life because you're putting it out there for them to have an opinion not saying they're right or not saying that you agree but it's just that you got to understand when you put your life out there people are gonna comment on it you know what i'm saying and see me i'm the kind of person where i flip that shit like whether i like what you said or not i bring that shit to light you know say it and forget it you know said it and forget it <laughs> but anyway yeah i said all that to say that acrimony is a really good movie and also seven seconds on netflix is a really good show like it just i'm telling you it really hits close to home but anyway um i'm not in any traffic whatsoever which i love thinking that i would be so i'm gonna be early to pick up my mama which i know she'll probably be happy um so yeah i'm gonna go pick her up and then see if she needs to make any stops i really do need to go to like raw so forever 21 like i'm looking for a mini backpack um because we're going out of town next month and i want to have that instead of like carrying a big bulky purse or you know stuff like that like i think i really do want just a mini backpack so um that's what's going to be on my agenda sometime this week to see if i can find one because i need to go ahead and get that done so when i start packing i don't know what fits and what don't fit and all that jazz so 
I'm going to say this again because I just keep saying the same stuff. But y'all know me. I just repeat myself. So, I'm about to go pick up my mama. Um, and we're going to figure out what we're going to do after that. Tell me don't say got mama <laughs> and i got you say hey hey i'm trying to fix this because my lighting is crazy but um me and my mom finna have to fight this man because y'all know i drink a gallon of water a day so i have to pee and when i gotta go like it's ready to go sorry about the lighting it's like sunny in some spots gloomy in other spots Dark so it's gonna spot. yeah so it's gonna be crazy but so my mama has on her badge the shirt for the whole hospital and everything and so we get in and then she's like hey can you open up this door um so she can go use the restroom and he had that look on his face like what and then she was she was like all she needs to do is use the restroom and then he goes and she got does she have a referral and i just said you know what i ain't got time for stupidity i gotta pee and then I went upstairs and peed because I worked here for nine years. So I know where everything is too. And then when I was up there, I was a little caught up because I thought that I still worked here and I was helping out somebody. But anyway, you just finna go straight home. You don't need to make yeah. that stop. Mm -mm. Unless okay. you wanted to go to Ralph. I do. Where Ralph said? Turn right here. Oh. Make sure you're doing the right thing. I can. Look, y'all, you see what happens? Do y'all see what happens? Your daddy go kill. Exactly. That's why I can't be with my mama because. My mama rich. I ain't rich. I ain't rich. Go up to Washington. We're going to talk. Oh, you, we're going to the Ross up there? Yeah. Okay. City Place. Yeah, they have good stuff. Yeah, City Place is good. And remember, I had just said that I need a mini backpack. So I had told you that the other day. I know, because that was that's why I go to the looking, Rainbow. Yeah, you look for Rainbow. And I'm trying to throw you a hint. Let's go. I want you to go. I know. To you was like, I like Ross. But yeah. I ain't know if you wanted to stop. I don't know what you Girl. be doing. Because I don't be having nothing. As long because as, I'm early. You know. So. You know where you go. Right? I'm good. Yeah, I know where I'm going. Yeah. All right, guys. So we headed to Ross. See you oh, and let me tell you one more thing. So remember yesterday it was 52 degrees. You can see your breath and stuff. Well, today it's 82 degrees, but it's about to rain. There's a thunderstorm. Not thunderstorm. What is it called? Tornado? Watch. No, thunderstorm watch. Oh, I thought you said tornado. No. In Duncanville. Well, it's a thunderstorm watch in Duncanville. It's a lot of rain too. Yeah. But that is so crazy. Like yesterday it was cold. I needed a jacket. Today I done put my sunglasses on and off and on and off because mm -hmm. it's like sunny sometimes. But anyway, the road that we on is real rocky as y'all can see. So yeah, we almost to So Ross. yes, it's a famous food where it used to be um a rock I mean a rainbow right here. I love that rainbow, y'all. But now they took it away. So now it's just a pet smart and a playlist. And then here is the Ross that we're going to. I'm so excited. I love Ross. And mom, you gonna get me in trouble. Yeah, I'm supposed right to be there. saving money. And look, a park opened up right at the front. And it said, one gone. It was Jesus. That was God saying, Come on in. We got some deals and specials <laughs> for you. I really don't want, I really don't need to spend any money. I'm not, right. we just looking. Mm, she said we just looking. We don't never come to Ross and just look. Yes, we do. So I did find some backpacks in Ross. I don't really like this though. Like this is doing too much for me as far as like a backpack. I want it to be more simple. I saw this one that I think is super cute. Um, but I really want silver hardware and not gold. And I know I'm being like super picky. So they got a little small guest one. But mm -mm, they look like it'll be stiff. And then they have that like camel color one again so i don't know they do have some backpacks oh here is one oh hmm i don't know who oh jennifer lopez i don't know who jennifer lopez is i like that but it's still got silver hardware and i want i mean it's still got gold hardware and i want silver so i'm gonna check out some more oh that's the same one Ooh. 
this one is kind of cute but again it has gold hardware but it's not like all over gold hardware so it probably won't be as bad i don't know i'm gonna continue to look and see if i can find so one. we came into ross and hit the jackpot my mama is getting this for the room as y'all can see it is not gold <laughs> it is black <laughs> but i ain't in this <laughs> So this is what she found. She found two of them for that wall. And I found this a beautiful um, hologram makeup case. So I can keep my makeup in this hard. So I don't have to worry about like my makeup breaking or something. Now I don't change it now. And I did find a backpack y'all. It was on my back. But mm -hmm, this is the backpack that I found. It's super cute. It's the silver and black that I was looking for. And it's like a medium size. So it's not super small, but it's not super big. So that is what it looks like. So now we're about to check out. There's so many people in here, Lord. So we're going to be in line. It started raining, even though we didn't want it to. But it's okay. We got what we came for. Y'all see this? We was in there all of five minutes. And it's raining like cats and dogs. Well, it doesn't stop now. But look at those clouds. So yeah, I'm gonna drop my mom off and then I'm all going. Right, guys, so I've came home and got all the way comfortable. I'm actually about to lay it down because I have a thumping headache. Me and my mom got stuck in some traffic and I don't know if it was just from the temperature change or what, but like I have a headache. So I took some ibuprofen, so I'm gonna get ready and lay it down in a minute. And then baby is not feeling well. Like she hasn't felt well for about three days now. So she is knocked out. I gave her some medicine. Well, I gave her some medicine this morning, but I think she waited a little while to take it. So yeah, she is knocked out. So yeah, hopefully she gets to feeling better soon, but I'm not gonna let another day pass without opening up my BH Cosmetic box with you guys. I haven't even opened the box and I complained about the shipping and hadn't even opened it. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, let's open it and see the brushes that I ordered. And then there's like a brush cleaner in here as well. But I did come home and edit the first part of the vlog. So that was good on my behalf. But I don't know like why all of a sudden my head just started hurting. I did take some ibuprofen though. And I had some salmon and some like um, veggie pasta for dinner. Ooh, I love the way this is packed. Okay. So this is how it looks on the inside. So this is what I originally wanted. Like whenever I wanted this brush set, it ended up getting sold out. And so I had got on the email list to say that whenever it came back in stock, I wanted it. Um, and then they emailed me and then they were having a sale. So I got all this stuff. So this is the Crystal Quartz 12 piece brush set with, with cosmetic case. And this is how that looks. And so, it's, so yeah, it's included with 12 brushes in here. So let's open the side. So we can see how it looks because the case is like holographic and i don't know why i'm like obsessed with it right now but that is my jam right now y'all see i just bought that from ross that case from ross oh yes like look at this yes look at this case yes i am loving this and this can go like paired with my case that I just got from Ross, but this is everything. And they actually put the brushes inside the case. Oh, let me drop the box. But here are all the brushes. So I like that it came with this case. And this is how the case looks on the inside. It's just like a purpley color and it says BH Cosmetics all around it. And it says BH Cosmetics right here. And then it has like those little things. So it has like all of these eye brushes here. And then it has four face brushes. So yes, this is the set that I really, really, really wanted. One, cause it has a crystal quartz. Like I, first of all, that's my name. Second of all, it's like a pinky rose goldy color. Loved it and then it came with this amazing bag. So yes, that was what I really wanted. And I think this retail for $23.99, I wanna say. I think that's how much that was. And then the next thing I got Oh, I got a special edition sculpt and blend fan face. And this one is a 10 piece brush set and this is how this one looks. So let's open this one. Now I don't know if this one came with like a carrying case. No, I think it just got the brushes in here. 
because when I opened it, it was just the brushes. So, yeah, it's just the brushes. Oh, and these are all pink. Why didn't I know these were all pink? It says special edition, so don't know what's the, like, you know, what the reasoning was for, but these are too legit to quit. <laughs> Oh yeah, so these are the face brushes and then these are the smaller brushes for the eyes. And this blending brush right here, it looks like it's gonna really do the job because that one right there is really long. And since I have smaller lids, like I love long hair brushes because I can really get into my crease and stuff. So yes, these are the brushes I got and this was a 10 piece set. And they just came by itself. And then, what else did I do? Mm, mm, mm. Now I have a pretty and pink. Oh, I got two pink brush sets. But this one is like a lighter pink. This is pretty and pink 10 piece brush set with, with cosmetic bag. So this one also comes with a cosmetic bag. So this is how this one looks. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, this one just opened. And this one has a cosmetic bag as well. Ooh, okay. So it's just this like pinky um, cosmetic bag. Kind of like the Ipsy bags, but a little bigger. Not like I need any more makeup bags. But yeah, all the brushes are in here. <laughs> Y'all, I went crazy, didn't I? So here, oh, ooh, this one came with a spoolie. So here are all the eye brushes, and then it came with three face brushes. So yeah, your girl can't say that she don't have no more brushes because I went in. And again, here is the case for that one. And then what else did I get? More brushes. These are single brushes. So this is the brush number 19, the small flat contour brush. So this is how this one looks. Oh yes, this is gonna really snatch that nose contour sis. Gonna snatch, snatch, snatch it up. And these are just like, I guess the BH Cosmetics Studio line. Yeah, Studio Pro line. And they're just the regular like black brushes. So yes, again, that is the small flat contour brush. And then I picked up the brush number 15 is a blush brush. Yeah, blush, blush brush. Can I get it out? So yeah, ooh. Oh, that's real soft and that's how that one looks. That's real soft. And I wouldn't probably use this for blush. I would probably use this for my contour because I really like a dense and soft brush to really like buff out the hollows of the cheeks. Like that's how you can stop it from being such a harsh contour. Because sometimes if you use those brushes, um, like the NARS Eater brush or you know, like those, uh, where that brush at? Like the one I just showed you. I don't know what I did with it y'all, but those like, Fat brushes, the one I just said that was good for a nose contour, sometimes if you use those, it will leave a harsh line. So I kind of like using blush brushes to help me kind of blend in and, and, and um, get that line to not be so harsh. And the last brush that I got, can you believe it, is a brush number 14, and this is a small setting brush. And I've seen so many people use these brushes to, um, to put on their like highlight and stuff and I definitely want to try but this is how that one looks super soft and this one is really dense so now that I see it I probably won't use it for my highlight because this will really pack it on so I will probably use this like well it's a setting brush so if you have any powders or anything that needs to go under your eye it's small enough to really pack under that eye so it won't crease so yes, BH Cosmetics come through. And then I got one more thing from BH Cosmetics and this is the quick change um, from one color to another. And I have saw reviews on this and people say like it's really good. Now it, you can't really use this for like foundation. So if you use a brush to put your foundation on, you are not gonna be able to swirl it around in here, you know, to use it for something else. But if you're using um, a good blended brush and you want to use multiple colors in your crease then i heard this was really good to clean your brush off so you know no color won't be on there you could just pick up the next color and this is how that looks and it's just like a little black um like spongy thing and it's like not wet or anything but it is kind of rough like if you can hear that so i can see 
taking your brush and swirling it around to get that color off. Oh yes, I love small brushes like this y'all cause I got hooded eyes and this will really help. I'm excited. So yes, I did pick this up and this was $4.99. So if I like it, I really am gonna stock up on these cause I'm the type of person who um, will switch up a color in a minute and sometimes colors do transfer because I don't like clean my brushes in between. So yes, I'm definitely gonna try this out and let you guys know how that works. And I love all of my new brushes. Um, I'll love them better once I start using them and see, you know, which one works for which. Now, some some brushes may shed, so I'm going to make sure that these don't shed. But for the most part, just looking at them, I love them already. I just had to touch this again, y'all, because this one is my favorite. Like, it matches the thing that I just bought. But, yeah, that's everything that I got from BH Cosmetic. There's a thank you, um card in here i give to you free shipping on 25 dollars hmm so yes this is a free shipping code on bh cosmetics if you spend 25 dollars, you get free shipping and the code is natural beauty i'll make sure that that's on the screen so you guys can see it and i'll put it down in the description box so if you want to go over and get any of these brushes or if you just want to get some from bh cosmetics and you like me and hate paying shipping because shipping will be the reason that i do not make an order like if i go and fill my card up and then there's no free shipping and I see that there will be a cost for shipping. They kind of like make, it, make me abandon my car. <laughs> Am I the only one? Like comment below and let me know if you feel that way. Cause I feel that way. But when I see free shipping, I just feel like I'm winning. So yes, check that code out and see me. I had to spend $50 to get free shipping, but this is just saying $25 and they put two of them in here. So I'm pretty sure the code can be used multiple times. So yes, yes. So I am too excited about all of this i end up spending money today i didn't think i was spending but so far i love the backpack um and i definitely want to have that for out of town and just uh you know just to keep my stuff together because not a lot of times when i go out of town you know you're a tourist you're in a whole nother state and a whole nother city and um you're moving around and i, I always I always have shoulder bags and so you know i don't want to carry that and i'm pretty sure I'm going to be vlogging, so I need a place to keep my camera and my wallet and, like, a water bottle and all that stuff. So, yeah, I decided to get that backpack. And then that travel case, like, I really like it because it's a harder case. So, um it's easier to put my makeup in and I don't have to worry about it being being smashed because like right now I will in the past I've used my Victoria's Secret bag and it is like hella flimsy like you can literally fold it up when you're finished um and that's how I ruined two of my palettes because that was inside my suitcase and something hit it and it um messed up my palace or whatever so with that i just feel like that's a bit more secure so yeah that's everything i'm gonna do today like i said i did take some ibuprofen to try to calm this headache down i hate when that happens because it's like i was good i was going you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden my head just started hurting so yeah that's gonna be everything for today's vlog baby is in there knocked out like i can hear her snoring so then i know she's getting some good sleep so i'm not gonna bother her and i'm just gonna go ahead and get this video edited so i can get it up and we can stay with the video every day in April. So what I need for you guys to do at this point is if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when I do post the next beta video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.